Hello and welcome to the Buzz Club. So pollinators are really important. I guess you probably know this already. Um, uh, pollinators include bees and butterflies, moths, wasps, hoverflies, beetles, all sorts of creatures. Um, and, and we really depend on them because they pollinate our, our fruit and veg, standing next to a plum tree in my garden here. And uh, this has been visited by lots of insects over the last week or two, making sure I get a nice crop of plums in the summer. Um, and we're also standing next to my vegetable patch, which soon will have lots of things flowering. And I'll need those bees and other insects to pollinate them. Of course, wildflowers need them as well. Uh, they wouldn't set seed, they'd disappear if we didn't have our pollinators. And sadly, pollinators are disappearing. Um, some species of bee have gone extinct in Britain. Um, we know that some species have declined a lot and become less common than they used to be, which is, which is really worrying for all of us. Um, the good news is that, that, that we can do things about it, but to do things about it, we really need to know what works best and what doesn't, and we need to know which species of pollinator are most in need of our help. Um, and at the moment, we don't know that. We don't have a really good monitoring scheme across the UK to find out how our pollinators are doing. And we don't have really good evidence to, to base um, things we might do in our gardens to, um, to, to help them. Uh, and this is where the Buzz Club comes in. So the Buzz Club was set up by a group of us at the University of Sussex, a group of scientists. But it's a club that's open to all. Um, we have members from children to octogenarians. Uh, all working together to do experiments, really simple things that anyone can do, but that are uh, yielding really useful data uh, about how our pollinators are doing, how many species we all have in our gardens and how that varies around the country, and what best we can do to help them. So just, just as an example, you might want to help pollinators in your garden by putting up a bee hotel. This is a, uh, one of the many types of bee hotel you can get commercially. But it turns out this one's absolutely rubbish. The holes are too big. Um, so we've got a project going at the moment in the Buzz Club, getting people to try out different types of bee hotel with different size holes built from different materials uh, all around the, around the UK simultaneously and sending us the data so that we can find out which ones work best and then we can recommend those to everybody to use. Just down here on the ground, we've got um, some Hoverfly Lagoons, which is another project, a new idea um, that we launched this year. Um, these, I must admit, don't look very attractive, but this is breeding habitat for hoverflies. Some species lay their eggs in uh, rotting vegetation, in, in puddles. And you can set these up in your garden, and we know that they, they seem to work really well. Um, or at least we've had, we've had good kind of preliminary success with them. But we want to work out what materials work best. Do they do better with sawdust or with grass cuttings or with leaves or whatever? Um, and so again, we're getting people all around the UK to try out different materials, different size containers, putting them in the sun, in the shade and so on. And between, if we, get, if we can get hundreds of people doing this, then we can work out what is the best thing to do and then we can recommend it to everybody. So, join the Buzz Club, um, join in. Uh, it's educational. When you join, you get a, a goodie pack of lots of things to uh, get you going, identification sheets and magnifying glasses and, and a booklet about gardening for pollinators and so on. Uh, you get a newsletter and you get invited to join in a whole range of experiments. Some of them just last for one summer. Some of them are going to go on for years and years and years, we hope, and help us to monitor pollinators. Um, so, so join us and help to make a real difference for our, our wild insects and ensure that they have a future. Thank you.